growing up, my father was in and out of my life. I remember when I was a young boy, my father said he was gonna pick me up. I sat on the porch all day and he never came. I grew up broken. I just started hanging with the wrong people. When I got out of jail, I was able to go back to high school, graduate on time. <laughs> my daughter, Jada, is the light of my life. You ready to go around in a circle? Wanting to be the best example for her, that is my number one concern. A lot of young men face the same issues that I was facing. My father was in and out of my life. My father was a heroin addict. He ain't teaching me how to be a man. He didn't know who I was. I don't even want to go see that man. How many of y'all looking to be role models to y'all own kids? I wanted to provide these men with the skills that they need to be great role models and successful fathers to their children. A lot of guys come out and say, I ain't grow with my daddy, so I really don't know how to be a father. If it played an effect on you, what are you going to do to better your child life? We teach the fathers parenting skills, life skills. When they receive a job, a GED, or a trade, along with a stipend. I'm in this program I'm trying to do better, but my son wouldn't have to go through what I went through. Amen. It's not a mandatory program. So these young men are really volunteering to get the help and support that they actually need. Without Sheldon, I'd probably still be out on the street somewhere. He really opened up my eyes, and he inspired me to go back in school. Come on, Dad, I follow you. The program taught me I can be a man by being a father to my baby. I'm a full-time dad again. When I look at these young men, I see me and them all the time. So three girls and one boy. Yeah, three girls and one boy. Oh, we go need two bathrooms in the house, mm -hmm. man. Fatherhood doesn't come with a manual. I'm able to help young men turn their lives around. I'm breaking the cycle of fatherless homes. <laughs>